By the end of this video, you will completely understand what you need to do to safely rent out a sneaker bot. Now, if you're anything like me, bro, you tired of not copying. You did your research and you learned that the people taking the stock are using sneaker bots and you're 100% correct. Spotters are taking all the stock. So you did more research. You probably even heard that it takes thousands of dollars to buy it, and you probably even heard of a $20,000 sneaker bot and you instantly thought, well, that eliminates me from the run. Well, today I'm gonna explain to you exactly how you can rent sneaker bots. Just like you can rent a movie or a car, you can rent a sneaker bot. So we about to jump right into that. So first we must ask, why should we even rent a sneaker bot, right? And the main reason that I suggest you rent out a sneaker bot is because honestly, it's a lot cheaper than actually purchasing a bot. Now stick with me because I know that sounds a little too easy, but let's say you do have thousands of dollars to drop on a bot right now. I advise you still to rent a bot so that you can see how it works. See if that's even the bot for you. It's important that you understand how a bot works and some interfaces are easier for some than they are others. So you just gotta find the right one for you. However, if you go ahead and drop out all that money on a bot right now, then you're stuck with it. Renting is not only cheaper, but it gives you the option to try to skip around and see which bot works for you. So those are the two main advantages. I'm also gonna give you a suggestion. If you're gonna start renting bots, go ahead and start renting lower tier bots. And the reason why is because their user interface is the most simple and it's gonna really help you learn how to get into the flow of the bots. Then after that, you can work your way up to maybe a higher end bot. That's actually an important step that I see a lot of new botters miss out on and end up being lost on their journey. All right, so next I wanna talk to you about some challenges because trust me, there is several challenges when it comes to renting a sneaker bot, all right? The most real and biggest challenge is renting from legit sources. And unfortunately, there are are a lot of scammers in this game preying on new people with a little bit of income because let's face it if you're looking to buy then you already understand you understand that hey I'm gonna need a little paper to come into this with there's people preying on you in that predicament and the thing is is the only real way to verify if somebody is legit is if they have a bunch of Twitter references but in 2021 I can't even trust those I don't know about you so there is another way to go about it you can actually pay a middleman to make sure you don't get scammed However, I'm not gonna lie to you, that sucks too because you get a rental for $25, the middleman wants $10, then that's a whole nother $10. That's a cost that honestly was annoying for me to pay. And who wants to do that when you can rent directly from somebody, right? Don't worry, I'm about to give you all my solution to this problem. There's a new platform that I'm using and it's called WAP.io, which I will link below in the description. It's, simple, it's basically a bot rental service, a bot rental platform, and it pretty much eliminates all the worries of getting scammed overpaying for a bot because you're paying a middleman fee it's just a nice consolidated place to rent and even rent out a bot if you own a bot now i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging like that i'm about to open it up and let y'all see it so let's jump in all right so when you first land on the website it looks like any other website honestly this is what it looks like if you haven't created an account go ahead and make your account pause me and then let's pick it back up so once you logged in what you immediately see on the front page is simple just their list of bots all right now i don't want you to be confused with that i want you to check out this side panel first because navigation is everything looks like they got some pretty top tier to bottom tier bots that's a huge plus but i don't but I don't want you to get confused on that right now. I just want you to focus on this left side because we're gonna learn how to navigate this so you can see exactly where everything is so that you can properly navigate this thing. So first we have the browse bot section. That's pretty clear as day. This is the same as this home section right here. And then you have apply to be a seller here. Now. We're actually gonna talk about that later, but right now I want you to take a look at view bot markets, all right? This is, basic, this is basically showing what the current market is for said bot. So it, it kind of reminds me of StockX, just the highest bid and lowest ask type format. Then you have, your, you have your account settings right here. And this is where if you were, this is where if you were renting out bots, if you had bots to rent out to people, you would collect your payments. Here's my favorite part of it, and that's the release calendar, okay? They actually have a live interactive release calendar with a voting system. And what I like about it, honestly, is that it, it kind of goes out a little distance. So that's definitely a plus once again. You got the tweet of the week to win credits to go towards some of your rentals. And they show some of then they show some of the top renters. All right. So one thing that I'm gonna start doing is actually looking at these people and just renting from them. These people are having a lot of rentals. They're and they're honestly going the smoothest. So I'm definitely gonna try to rent from these people going forward. 
Now let's talk about what you came to see and that's how to rent a bot, all right? So let's say I was going to rent a bot. Like this weekend, if you're if you're subscribed to me, then you know that I have a beginner to botter series. Now I own a bot called NSB, Nike Shoe Bot, but I still consider it a mid-level to lower tier bot. And what I've tried to do is run a top tier and a low tier bot. So I'm actually looking at Kodai. Let's say we, we're gonna, let's say I'm gonna rent out Kodai for Saturday, all right? I'm gonna come here, it's gonna show me, it's gonna give me how long I want, I can also do a custom date range. So if you're familiar with Discord rental groups and if you're doing a weekly rental, you can do it. You can only do it from Tuesday to Monday or whatever days they have set. Here, you can make your own. So let's say I wanted to get it from today through Sunday because I wanted to do some practice. Now, something else I want you to pay attention to. You notice here, and this, this is gonna be the same on all bots. Kodai is a higher end bot, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive to rent out a bot like Kodai. But you see, what you see on a day like Friday, it's only $39, but on Saturday, it's $100. That's because Saturday, there's a big drop coming. So depending, and you see like on regular days, it's mostly 40 bucks, $39. Whenever there's a big drop, then the value of the rental goes up. And you can pretty much see here that this Saturday and next Saturday are some pretty important drops. Also, I want you to pay attention to this. It tells you the compatibility. That is huge, especially for my Mac users. It tells you it tells you if the bot is compatible with what you have. Um, it tells you if it's compatible with these given sites. It gives you an overview of, you know, just the sales history to, to show you that you're not alone and that other people are rent indeed renting this. So, so we, we gonna hit rent bot and then boom, it's gonna pop up this screen. Now, they basically give you an overview. This is your rental duration, which is April 7th, 7 p.m. through April 10th, 7 p.m., all right? And so you have your total amount due. Now, I'm gonna give you a promo code in the description to get a percentage off of your rentals if you decide to use this. So in this case, I don't have one, so I would just go ahead and hit complete purchase. After that, they're gonna email me a download link and a key to install that bot. Now let's go rent another bot. Let's go, let's go. Let's say we, we only need it. Let's say we only need it for a day. All right, Soul's a pretty good bot that I do wanna try. All right, so let's say I, I only wanted it for tomorrow to practice. Same thing, you do it for maybe a day. It's $5 for a day, boom, you rent it out. Apply a promo code if you have one and then boom, it's that easy. You're also gonna see right here, you're gonna see a list of your purchases. I, I wanna briefly address this for my people who own bots and maybe are looking for a secure way to rent them out. This platform is definitely ta tailored for you as well. You hit the sell bots button and it's gonna ask you, it's gonna basically open up the seller application. You basically, you basically just have to pretty much verify your real, link your Discord, link your Twitter, and you're fine, you're in the door. Something I want you to keep in mind is some bots are not rentable, all right? So make sure when you're prospecting out a bot, make sure it's actually rentable, make sure it's not a bot that is unrentable. And honestly, there, there aren't many bots that are not rentable. Also, another pro tip, if you're gonna rent a bot, please rent it a day in advance for when you actually need to use it. You don't wanna learn how to use it during a drop. So do as much research as you can. Rent yourself an extra day just to play with the bot, follow along some tutorials, and just so that you're ready when drop time comes. Also, I advise you, and you're gonna naturally do this once you become a botter and just get in the botting space, and that's pay attention to what bots are hot at the moment because that's honestly why rentals are so huge now and rent rentals is the game. I mean, there isn't one bot that's consistently performing well enough to justify the thousands of dollars for it. One week it might be this bot, one week it might be this bot. This bot might be killing Shopify releases for a month or two. So that's why renting bots is so important. That's why you need to check this out. Now I actually have a series where I'm starting from a beginner just like you to trying to become a huge botter. So meet me over in that video. Thank y'all for tuning in to this one. If, if you wanna use this, I got links in the description. You're gonna get a discount if you signed up under my code. So love everybody out there. Let's get it.